back again. It's Monday, it's May the 17th, 2010, and we're all thrilled and ready and throbbing for a new week ahead. Today I wanted to talk about value and what you can give to the customer, the client, your friend, your mum. I'm not going back to the mum thing again and Holly, oh for God's sake, I had a nightmare last night. I had snakes and spitting and all sorts. Value is all about giving without the idea of getting back. Unless you're selling a product and you just reduced it by 50%. Now that's good value, especially if it's uh, sirloin steak. Value is a state of mind. It's an emotion. It's a sentiment. It's a philosophy. It's a maxim. It's a mantra. It's a statement of intent to change. To stop doing what you're doing right now, which is the same, which is unremarkable, and doing something totally different with purely the customer's best in mind. So, okay, that's going to be a blog, a podcast, going out to shake somebody's hand, going out to kiss a baby if you're David Cameron, doing something that somebody finds amazing and incredible. And that is value, friends. That's all it is to it. It's value. So, think about that when you're moving into the week ahead, because I've got a lot on this week, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I've been attending the Social Media Success Summit 2010, which has been great. A um, few ups and downs, there's been some great speakers, some mm, sessions. But last week we did a YouTube session on how to get the best out of YouTube. And if you're slightly better looking than I am, doesn't take much, and you're slightly more competent in video than I am, again, doesn't take a great deal, then I'd advise you to go and see YouTube Creators Corner. There may be a link somewhere on this video. I'm not so sure. I'm going to try and put it in embed it. It depends whether I have the time or not. But anyway, millions and millions of bits of great advice on how to make video really stand out because... Friends, this is a big thing to get into. You need to be doing it now. So get yourself videoing every opportunity. Got a message to get out there. Share it and let's get kicking on with it and make it your own. Start your own channel on YouTube. All you need to do is create an account and it puts it there for you. Next thing going on this week, I'm having an awful lot of work on mastermind groups. I'm a really big fan of mentorship and buddy groups, and that's what effectively the mastermind group is. It's all about a collective mind to create great success for every participant in the group. And that's where we are with mastermind groups. We've got some fantastic social media success summit groups coming up in the not too distant future. Meantime, Team Awesome today. Big rock on for Team Awesome. We love the guys in Team Awesome. It's been a long time, but we're going to get it back on track and start doing it on a monthly basis because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Now, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, what it is to own a business and going back to the value thing. What we don't do enough is basically take a fresh set of ease um, to actually look at our business from a different perspective. So take five minutes today and just stand outside of your business. Look upon your business, not from within your business. And just look what it looks like. What are your products saying to you guys? What's your message saying to you guys? What's your marketing doing? How's it affecting people? Is it making them do things? Is it making them go, well, could go somewhere else, right, we'll look at the competition this time. What is it that stand out? Because that, again, is value. It's all about the standout. Talking about value, today I'm starting a course with the Vibrapreneur. It's all about social media, I guess, for wellness businesses. But on their website, vibrapreneur.com, they've got a 12-week business challenge. And the first week, which I'm about five weeks behind now, I think they're up to week six, is all about defining the product and understanding your audience. Who are you going to be selling to? Who are you pitching to? Who is your customer? Who's your community? This is all really good stuff, and so I recommend that you go and check that out. That's vibrapreneur.com. It's all tied into the fact that I'm launching a new product really soon, and I'm really excited about it. I thought about it over the weekend, and it's a go. It's going to be great, and it's going to benefit you, and it's going to benefit me. Um, so I just want some tips from you right now. Take heed. Think about this for me. Tell me. When you launched a new product, or when you launched a service, or when you were getting ready to kick your business into shape, what were the things that really made it easy for you? Or what were the things that you're looking back that you wish you'd done? Or what are the things that just made you go, wow, this is the way to do it? 
Because at the end of the day, we all need support in this techno-functionomical age to do business. So any of your hints and tips, always welcome to you. Drop me a line, usual address, it's dave at wordandmouth.com. Or you can drop me a bell, which is 015-1324-3336. Look forward to hearing from you. Tell me what you're doing this week and tell me how you're adding value to your customer's life through your business, service or product. In the meantime, have a belter and I can't wait to speak to you again soon. Signing out, it's Dave at wordandmouth.com. Have a great one.